next United States Senator from the state of Louisiana, David Duke. Ladies and gentlemen, I believe that racial discrimination in hiring or jobs or promotions is wrong. I think the best qualified person should get the job, promotion, or scholarship. And I think that's true. Not only is racial discrimination wrong when exercised against a young black person, I think it's just as wrong when exercised against a young white person in our society. While the national media was absorbed with the notoriety of David Duke's 1990 Senate campaign, only a few recognized that he was part of a continuing strain of Louisiana politics. I love the nigger, but I know that he can't run this country. The breeding that's behind him is not what it takes to build a civilization, and we don't let, intend to let our civilization go to ruin. Thirty years ago, Louisiana's violent resistance to civil rights was led by rabid segregationists like State Senator Willie Raynack and Judge Leander Perez, who threatened to imprison civil rights workers in an old fort in the middle of a swamp. If they choose to come in tens and twenties, we'll take care of them. What about if they choose to come in hundreds, we'll pack them in here, just the same. But while Perez and Raynak represented an extreme, segregation as a policy was backed by most whites. David Duke was a former Grand Wizard of the Ku Klux Klan, had sold pro-Nazi and anti-Semitic literature out of his legislative office, and had reportedly celebrated Adolf Hitler's birthday, complete with a cake, well into the 1980s. You sell things, you pass out things called nigger hunting license, a nigger hunting license. No, we license. do not. I do not pass out. I do not you do not, that. but your lieutenants do. Maybe you do. It says, okay. having paid the license fee is hereby licensed to hunt and kill niggers, in caps, during the open season in Texas. This is beautiful, David. I mean, you know, for a guy who does it. It's also, I mean, it's a joke. But it is a joke, yes. It is satire. For a guy who says you don't belittle other people. With a face remade by plastic surgery, the 1990 version of David Duke combined blow-dried hair with less extreme rhetoric, but his supporters knew what he meant. I might be, I might be a very tiny David against a huge Goliath, but you have the power, each of you, to put a stone into my sling. Duke cast himself in the populist tradition, and in the midst of a recession, 60% of the state's white voters were willing to ignore his self-proclaimed youthful indiscretion, propelling him to a strong second-place finish and thereby keeping Duke around as the latest standard-bearer of racial politics, at least until the next election. And I only feel that this man is going to do the best like UAP Long did for the state years ago. David Duke represents the American people. He tells them what they want to hear.